wanted a house. Hey guys and welcome back to Life is Feudal, aka Smelting Simulator 20. <laughs> Actually it's more like fucking ah, 1500. So how's the procuration going? Oh, uh, my procuration is at 29.99 still. I, I oh, uh, probably shouldn't set that for downgrade. I haven't done any more animal lore because ugh, it's just bringing myself to like go out and collect fucking branches to make the traps oh. again. I see. It sounds like a job for a script man. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. There we go. But yeah. Almost ready for another round of uh, copper. I got a uh, branch collection script to work. The caveat is it requires me to be in GM mode because then I have uh, infinite range on actually getting like detection. Uh, like if I point at a tree, it doesn't actually detect it as a tree. If I'm in GM mode though, I have like 20 or 30 meters I think where it will actually detect shit, not three. Can you not edit that? It might be possible, but um, right now I've got the script hooked into the detector. So it's like, what it does is it gathers branches until it receives no branch found. Then it slowly turns until it sees another tree, and then goes to that one, raising W, and then gathers all the branches <laughs> off that, and it continues to rotate. Is there... Do, do you not, like, instantly do shit in GM mode? Yeah, that's the problem with it. Yeah. It's like, I can't really do it fairly. Yeah. Uh, Although, in all fairness, like... Bot in the game isn't entirely fair, but it's more legit. <laughs> it is more legit. Yeah. Like I said, try try to make it at least fair. We want to get this house finished so we can start pulling in freaking the community. Yeah. So surely no one will chastise you for that. Well, uh, add space. Door space module rotation space sixteen space one hundred and all that? our problems are over. Oh right, that's spawning them in. <laughs> yeah, all the problems would be over. Hopefully. The only issue then is you don't have the infrastructure required, so we can't even make it look legit. Yeah. And you would also just be spawning in, like, everything else that we ever tried to do, ever. <laughs> yep. It, it is a slippery slope. I've fallen for that before. I want to cheat this one thing. Yeah. I fell for that in Minecraft a few times. Holy hell. You've made a good dent in this. Yeah, I know, right? Good work. Now, I hate to ask, do we have enough copper? Oh, dude, there's fucking tons down in the mine. Alright. So, worst case scenario, we just have to mine more. Yeah. I wonder if there's enough in the pile. Um, I doubt it. It seems like the pile's giving me less back than what I've actually put in it. <laughs> Always seems that way. No. I suppose worst case scenario, I can start using these iron bars. Probably not. I was going to say don't use them, but it doesn't really fucking matter. It's the exact same time to smelt them. It's the exact same like yeah. time to mine it. Although I'm not sure how much iron we actually have because I've not mined round the uh, the vein. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I want to see here. I'm going to go to where my original prediction was for where the iron would be. Which is just on the right hand side of the the clay, right? Right. I'm gonna turn on GM mode and I'm gonna look under the ground. Okay. I'm gonna have to see how close was I with my original prediction where the iron was. Plus I need to delete this tombstone. <laughs> yeah. You know what I found out you can actually get like you know where the rocks are at the um that mountain behind us? 
Yeah. Yeah, you can actually get fucking iron like one layer below that shit and copper and stuff. Really? Yeah. So like you don't even need to dig down into that, you just like find a mountain and start prospecting. Oh my god. I was like, I might have actually been spot on because I don't know how big that iron vein is. Well. Woot. Galvin is master prospector. Alright there, get rid of the tombstone. Uh... I, actually I have a bag of 300 roof shingles here. Lol. Oh, unfired roof shingles. Delete this bag. Now I got the roof shingles out of it. Clean all these fucking bags. I've got to admit, I actually kind of like our mine, even though it was in inefficient to do it in the way that we done it. I kind of like having it. Fuck you, game! Oh, wow. You know what? I'm just gonna show sending reports. Just Every time. Yep. Just fill in, shit, fill in the um the little message thing and just tell them what you were doing at the time. Mm. It doesn't really matter. I just crashed for standing still. <laughs> Airport. I was standing still. Extinguish. Oh, sugar. The Forge and Anvil was probably the best one that I should have really done first. So. Let's go. Melt it. So yeah, the, uh, the smelting down of the copper is actually going a lot quicker than I thought. That's good. That's me got another 28 copper. That's well, only going quicker than I thought, obviously, because we're, uh, we've got so much going at once. Yeah. How can I have 27? I have no idea. I must have already had one in my inventory. Burdened already. I basically fucking barely got anything. Erg. Show another three in there with that. Okay, and then let's start splitting these into tens. I'm sure that you could also make the uh, the prospecting range thing, like do values of one instead of values of two. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't quite work out how to sort that and gave up because I thought, what's the point? We've already prospected all we need to. And I thought it's kind of cheaty because it's circumnavigating like something that should be in the game. Yeah. There we go. I thought this would probably be an easier way to do it than trying to like drop off a load of other like off cuts of coal. As if I just like put all of these together and then shove a full ten in. Alright, so what the hell was I doing? Something to do with logs. Logs? Or building logs? You says that you'd got everything, you were just transporting them. Oh, no, I stopped doing that right as, uh, doing admin stuff for cleaning up all these fucking random bags we've left lying around. Yeah. Right. 
I pretty much cleared all the ones that I could clear by myself. The other yeah. ones are like death bags. Yeah, I'm just gonna... The, the problem is the death bags don't go away. I know, right? They're, all um, the furnaces are out. Apparently there's like a skill or something to build like a grave site or something like that. So hopefully mm. they'll have it so that you can like move the uh, gravestone so you can make your own graveyard and shit. That'd be pretty cool. It'd also be cool if you could read the gravestone so it's like Kelvin Tremere died by pickaxe to the f uh, shovel to the head <laughs> from Stigio Sheep Botherer. That'd be cool. Yeah. I would approve of that. I'm working on a railroad all the live long day. There, cleaned up the bags. Oh no, you. No, no, it's just silver. Oh, no, it's just lag. <laughs> I was about to just flip my shit. Okay, just the server, just the server. Keep going. <sighs> <laughs> it's okay. Stay calm. Okay, well. Uh. So, there was 30 waters somewhere, wasn't there? Yeah, it should be in the uh, agricultural bag. Uh, over by the farms. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Because I need to make another 300 on fire to play tiles. Oh, oh did you I lose only have 300 of these. No, no, I didn't. I still have them, but I just like, oh, I need another uh, 300 of them. Oh, fuck. I need 600 total to uh, build the house. Ah! I don't know about you guys, but I get really frustrated when shit like that happens and I can't quite get the right number. Wait, what happened? No! What the hell? Oh, there we go, there we go. It was just like, it was just game like, it's fine. Alright. Yeah. Forgot I ditched this charcoal, that's why I couldn't carry as much. Fucking hell! Eat error reports, you bastards! <laughs> Lol. So yeah, normally I finish off my episodes by saying I've been Stigio, he's been Kelvin, and you've been awesome. But I've kind of changed that Fuck to. Fuck <laughs> I hope you all die in a fire. Lol. Well, I've changed it to I've been Stigio, he's been crashing, and you've been awesome. Yeah, seems about right. You're currently running in the spot on my copper pile. Oh, there you go. You've stopped now. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the recent patch fixed the memory leak and caused Kelvin to crash constantly. <laughs> Although it wasn't doing this the last time we were playing, so I wonder what's changed. Has anything changed on your end? Mm, I'm trying to think. Are you running anything you don't normally run? Well, let's see. Team speak. Antivirus? Nope. I don't run antiviruses. No, they are. They're a fucking waste of time. The best antivirus is a smart human. Indeed. You can't take that, you're overburdened. Ah, yes. I've received another eight requests to do games today. Oh, nice. Mm. I 
I've got a couple of interesting ones coming up. A couple of indie games coming up that look to be quite interesting. So hopefully they this turn out. This is a out, concert right. in Mexico. I'm being invited to. The fuck? What the fuck? Like literally a video game music concert. Wow. Okay. The fuck? Okay, that's new. That is that is new. I mean, I've heard of a lot of things, but Mariachi video game. Games is proud to unveil impressive lineup for the V concert event in Latin America on November eighth. Nice. Monterrey, Mexico, October 8th, Brad Unveil has announced an impressive lineup for the third installment of V Concert. A wonderful event taking place in the Sensa Hall in Monterrey, yada yada yada. The lineup includes performances in the Castlevania series, Mega Man, Minecraft, Hotline Miami music, Far Cry 3 music. The Hotline Nintendo. Miami music is amazing. It is. So, yeah, I'm apparently being invited to a Mexican video game music concert. That's fine. Tell them to pay for travel. It's a free ticket. No travel, though. Lame. Also, why I don't attend Paradox events. Yeah. Although they've stopped sending... Ooh. Hmm. wonder if that has anything to do with the crashes. What's that? Anyway. Do you still have no skybox? <laughs> no, no, no. My skybox vanished for a second. I was like, uh oh. It reappeared though, so. I don't know. Could be my game files just slowly being corrupted over time. Possibly. You might just need to verify integrity. Yeah, you know what? Before I even continue, that should probably just be the first thing I do. Yeah. Um, back up your scripts though, in case it removes them. Oh, uh, yeah, good call. <clears throat> Even though I, I, well, yeah, I should have backups them. Yeah, I do, okay. They're back up in my coding folder. <clears throat> I hate it when you can't select shit in this game. Bugs the life out of me. Anyway, I think we'll call it an episode there, guys. So, as always, I've been Sejo. He's still been crashing. You've been awesome. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.